brush goes back to every time. And this should be an oval. So you got this little rock there. Gotta go over that rock. Down and up. There's a lot of thick and thins involved with doing this. And just like here, see the X's? That's the negative space I look at when I letter it. I laid it out, but I kept going, knowing where it goes. And then this is where it comes up and stops. And if you have to, draw the, the lines to keep it all the same. The same angle. Again, up, down. There's the toughest part right there. Flat. Notice it. I come out instead of straight down and over. There's that rock. Flat. Straight out, come back down to it, that joins to the next. This G is just like the A, only we're going to do the downstroke. Here, and I just turn it in a little, come back from this letter sideways, and then just turn your brush to finish it off. Now, the straight strokes, just like casual. There's a casual eye. Now on this stroke, you can go up or down. I'll show both. Here I'm gonna go up, all the way down here, and, and take it up, and come back. Three strokes. Again, sideways from the next. Okay, I do two strokes. Sideways, up here, turn it around, give it a kiss. L. That's fucking easy. That's right. Here comes that casual eye again. Now this time I'm gonna go down. Thick, go down to small. Straight, thick to small. And just like our other M, it's got to be at the same place. Right there. Go around that rock. Let's go up with this one. Small to thick. Finish it off just like that. Sometimes I just do it like that in here, or I swing it around like this. If I know this is an R right next to it, I'll go down even further. That way I've got more to come up. Otherwise, I'm stopping that. Stop, stop, stop. On the P, there's an area. Just imagine that you're only connecting it in that little area. Comes up, and then stop. Come back into here. There. Q. Strokes one, two, three, actually four. Up because it's an S. It's all about those connections. That's that stroke right there. Sometimes on my straights like this, I'll come back and do this. Just makes it look a little better. Yeah. 
bead to a point. I just curl, touch, up, straight. I'm going to go up a little higher with this one because of the curl. This is a German R. So there's our main stroke, that A. Up, down, and then your hand actually comes out. And then you're pulling it up. Keep that tight. And bring it around. Then go back for more paint. Bring your straight. The same thickness. Over. There's that rock. Again, I've got a lot of paint on the front of my brush. On the tip. That's the stroke you need to practice, is right there. What's going to happen a lot is it's going to flare out on you. Uh -huh. Control it. Come back. If you're with a mole stick, your left hand comes out. Wow, look at that. 